This is RadioFire.com. Yours truly, Diamond K, in here. Thank you for joining me. Coming at you from the Radio on Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. Had a very interesting weekend. Uh, we got a chance to go to a fundraiser for Maryland Governor Candidate Ben Jealous. And uh, that was... Um, here in Baltimore, so that was that was a nice event. Got a chance to chop it up with the uh, governor candidate, gubernatorial candidate, uh, Ben Jealous, and he really has Maryland's best interests at heart. Uh, so I definitely encourage people to get out and vote. And uh, here in Maryland, vote for Ben Jealous. Uh, also DJed a costume party on Saturday that was uh, very good. I do this every year, and um, it was good. Nice, uh, nice people. They enjoyed themselves. It was outdoors, so here in Baltimore, it was about the time of the uh, the costume party. We're talking about it was probably about forty six degrees outside, and but uh, well, people were drinking and dancing and partying. And, um, and and having a good time, so um, uh, that is always a good thing. Uh, then Sunday we uh, debuted. Greg and I debuted um, the "I'm Just Saying" podcast episode one of that. We did that on Sunday, and you can check that out on RadioFire.com. Now on episode one, we talked about the fall of. Former Death Row Records CEO Suge Knight we talked about his impact in music and um, just in general. Uh, so you can check that out. As I said, RadioFire.com. Uh, Greg and I will be hosting the I'm Just Saying podcast. Well, we, we do a deep dive on single topics, uh, artist, um, music. People like that. Next one's going to be about Dame Dash. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that one. So a couple of things that I um, I want to cover. Uh, first, we want to say condolences. Condolences goes out to New Orleans rapper. New Orleans rapper called Young Greatness. And... He was tragically, tragically shot and killed, single gunshot, outside of a New Orleans Waffle House. And it just, we keep seeing this time and time again. Rapper killed in his hometown early this morning, 34 years old. And um, Theodore Jones is his real name. As I said, right, just outside of Waffle House. Now, the uh, New Orleans Police Department said that the shooting occurred uh, just after 1.30 a.m. Officers arrived on the scene, uh, and uh, Young Greatness was pronounced dead uh, on the scene. So, um, definitely want to... Uh, you know, send shots out, and, and, and as I said, rest in peace to the family and all of that. Uh, I lost a sister uh, back in July, and it, it she passed from breast cancer, but uh, young greatness passing due to violence, and I know it's not the same, the same thing, but my heart definitely goes out uh, to the family, definitely, definitely goes out to the family. Uh, so, also, something that I wanted to touch on, Too Short, Too Short, classic, classic rapper. Uh, I first became aware of Too Short back in, I guess, 88, got uh, family in L.A., and he came to uh, Baltimore for the summer, and my cousin brought with him, his name is Deja, Deja, Deja brought with him Too Short, Cassette, Born to Mac, Life is Too Short. He brought with him N.W.A. 
And I was at the time listening to uh, EPMD, uh, BC Boys, uh, LL Cool J, these these type. So, you know, we traded music. He had West Coast music. I had some East Coast music. We traded music. And I really got into Too Short at that time. So I've been listening to Too Short since, since I was a kid. And I definitely probably should not have been listening to Too Short. Too Short is preparing to drop a new album next week. It's called The Pimp Tape, coming out November the 9th. And he's been out promoting that. And I definitely am going to uh, check that out once it drops. The Pimp Tape, Too Short. Now, Too Short was talking about the formula to his music. He's had a long career, as I said. He's had a long career. He said that the formula to my music is that I try to have comedy in it. The vulgarity cannot be digested without a little bit of humor. He told this to Page Six. He recalled of his start and said that Easy e the legendary CEO, member of NWA, and, um, you know, member of the classic rap group, Niggas with Attitudes, he said that Easy e was the first person to take him on tour. And there was nobody telling him to do it. He did it on his own. Now, he said, I did not used to hang out with Dre. After a show, Easy would go places. We were out chasing women, but Dre wasn't even really into that. Even back then, Easy was my homie. We ran together. We did strip clubs. Now, Easy died, they said, of complications of AIDS back in 1995. But Too Short says, I don't necessarily agree. Is that right? Too Short saying that he does not necessarily agree that Easy e passed the way that it was put out there. I always thought that it happened quickly. There's been urban folklore about what happened to Easy e There's been talk about it. And uh, after making a statement like that, and let's keep in mind that Too Short does have an album coming out. So this is the perfect time for him to drop something controversial. But at the same time, this is not the first time we've heard this. This is not the first time. There have been rumblings of this Rumor. Now, Too Short continued and said, I don't really want to get into that right now, but that is not how I think it happened. I just like to think of it like this. Since you brought up Easy e let's say if there was no Easy e how does that impact hip-hop? That's uh, Too Short talking. How does... No easy E on the scene ever. How does that affect hip hop? That's a hell of a question. Hell of a question. And Too Short had something to say about it. Too Short said this, continuing, if you had no easy E, you got no NWA, no Dr. Dre, no Ice Cube, no Tupac. Death Row Years, no Bone Thugs, no Aftermath, no 50 Cent, no Eminem, the way we know them anyway. The branch that is called Easy e on the hip-hop tree is massive. This is coming from one legend to another legend. Something that you very rarely see. Somebody giving credit. Somebody giving props. Somebody giving a salute too short, an OG who doesn't have to do it. Giving and paying homage to the impact of Easy E. And I can't say that I disagree with anything that he said. He's 100% right. Now, these artists would have still come out, but I think that the important fact is not the way that we know them. Not the way that we know them. So um, definitely, as I said, make sure you pick up Too Short. 
Pimp Tape when it drops. And, uh, you know, you're on iTunes, you're on YouTube, you're on Tidal, you're on Spotify, whatever. Check out some of that Easy e I guarantee you, you will like it if you like that gangster shit. So uh, last topic that I want to touch on, and, you know, I really hate to talk about these two. I really do. You know why? Because I don't like them. I don't like them. But we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. So for whatever reason, whatever reason, Kanye West has aligned himself with the very controversial, very controversial, Candace Owens. Now, this young lady, who's not a bad-looking young lady, she has a movement that she's starting called Blacksit, Blacks Leaving Democrats. And Kanye West, Kanye West, that is, has partnered with this controversial conservative. First, she was not conservative, talking about Donald Trump. Now she's kissing Donald Trump's ass. First, she was speaking negatively about conservatives. Now she is a conservative. And, and she could definitely find comfort in Kanye West, who has done the same thing. First, he was one way. Now he's another way. Uh, but Owens describes this movement, Blexit, as a national movement of minorities that have been awakened to the truth. What is the truth, Candace, really? Uh, it is for those who have taken an objective look at our decades-long allegiance to the left and asked ourselves, what do we have to show for? Really? Candace? Really? Is that where you're going? Now, if Candace wanted to say, and, and th this is a frequent talking point for the right, if Candace wanted to say we need to not participate in any political parties because what have they done for us, right? If that's what she wants to say, that would make more sense. But but you saying that the Democrats haven't done anything and the real truth is the Republicans, you'd be better served to say no party has done anything for us because the Republicans damn sure haven't done anything. Uh, and what she may not know is that the parties flip-flopped what the uh, belief of the Democrats used to be is what the Republicans became and they switched and, you know, different wings of the parties, more extreme wings took over and it changed the total view of the party, but whatever. She clearly does not know her history. But Kunye, where does he come up in all of this? He's designing gear. He is designing clothing for Candace Owens, crazy. Uh, He's been parading around with her since they've had this meeting of the minds on Twitter, meeting with Donald Trump, bending over. They should make a signature line of tap shoes as well with the rest of this crap that Candace Owens is putting out. And, and crap it is nonetheless. I mean, how are you going to have some boot licking, toe tapping without some tap dance shoes? So Kanye designed Candace some tap shoes to go with this crappy clothes that are not going to sell. Just like his sneakers aren't selling, these clothes are not going to sell. Kanye is just about over. But uh, she plans on taking this movement on the road next year. She's going to be releasing merchandise designed by Kanye before she heads on the road. So if you want to get any of this shit, if you are someone who subscribes to this bullshit, you're going to be able to get it. Uh, it looks stupid. I just can't see anybody rocking, any self-respecting person rocking this. But uh, if that's what your political views are, then... Uh, so be it. Kanye's contributions to the cause made their debut Saturday at Turning Point USA's Young Black Leadership Summit in Washington. There are three different T-shirts and a hat available for sale on the Blexit website, all of which say 
designed by Kunye. Kunye. Um, so there you go. There you, there you have it. A meeting of the minds. Um, birds of a feather flock together. You throw a bunch of shit on the floor, it's all going to fall together. That's what these two are. Pieces of shit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, I will be back here tomorrow. A lot going on. And, um, you know, a lot of things that we want to uh, inform you about. See you guys tomorrow.